Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of chain sprocket in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. First go to new, take a, stand, a standard part in millimeter, go to create. Now go to 2D sketch, select the XY plane. Go to line command, from center point make a line, make a rough profile, okay, okay, skip, now go to dimensions, this dimension will be 3.75, the total height will be of 116 the this distance vertical distance will be of 18 mm and the width will be of 8.45 8.45 okay now we will mirror this profile about this axis so Go to mirror command, select this profile, bottom also and go to mirror line and select the center line and apply. Ok, it's done. Now finish sketch. <coughs> now go to revolve command, select both the profiles, select the axis axis will be this horizontal line ok and ok now select this middle face and go to create sketch now we will draw two circles first circle with the center point will be at 221.6 dia and the second circle of dia 283 ok now uh, we will draw the uh, this cutting profile <coughs> so we will draw a circle over here of dia 20 now go to line command and make a line over here similarly escape Take line command once again and make line over here and escape. Make a middle line, go to line and from this center make a line, vertical line. Okay. Now give the dimensions, go to vertical constraint, select this point and select this point. Now these both are vertically constrained with respect to center point. <coughs> now go to dimensions. The angle between these two lines will be of 45 degree. And the distance from here to here will be 45 by 2. Okay. Now as these lines are not touching so go to tangent constraint select this circle and select the line similarly select the circle select the line and select the line ok now they are constrained now go to trim command and trim the extra profiles this profile this profile the internal profiles this edge and this edge ok and this also we only need this profile and select this circle and make it a construction geometry click here for construction geometry ok now finish sketch and go to extrude command select this profile 
now we want to cut the profile so from where go to cut and from where take all through all cut this will be and okay okay now at edges we will give the radius over here so go to fillet take a radius of 2 mm select this edge rotate and select this edge and okay <clears throat> now we want to make a pattern of this profile so go to circular pattern select this and select fillet select the axis of rotation select this as axis of rotation and take a count of 21 and okay okay these are the tooth now select this face go to create sketch now we'll make this profile and go to circle command and from here make a circle of dia 50 okay it's not 50 it's of dia 150 and go to finish command now go to extrude and take extrude of 45 and okay now we want to cut a slot over here this uh, id we want to make so select this face go to create sketch now take the circle command from same center point make a circle of dia 100 finish sketch go to extrude command go to cut from here select all it will be a through cut and okay you can see it's a through cut <clears throat> now we want to make a this slot for the key this slot we will make so select this face go to create sketch and go to rectangle command and we'll take two point center rectangle select this face and the width will be of 8 mm or 12 mm tab 8 mm of height okay it's still not constrained go to vertical constraint select this point and select this point now this is fully constrained sketch finish sketch and go to extrude command select this profile go to cut and drag it to length and okay this is also a through cut now we will make this hole over here for tightening the key this is a key slot <coughs> so here go to origin and we will select the exit plane select the exit plane and create sketch now go to circle command here make a circle of dia 10 and go to this dimension select the center point select this edge and this will be at 20 go to home okay this is not constrained so go to vertical or go to horizontal select this point and select the center now this is constrained go to 3d model and extrude this will be extrude cut flip the direction and okay now we will provide a thread over here so go to thread command and just select this internal circle it will make a thread of the dia of the circle and apply okay now 
the last portion is left the fillet and chamfer so first go to fillet and take a radius of 3.5 mm from here select edge and select this internal edge and ok <coughs> now we want to give chamfers over here and here internal so go to chamfer <coughs> Take a chamfer of 5 mm and select this outer edge, apply and for inner we will take a chamfer of 1 mm, select this inner edge, rotate the view and the back edge and apply. Okay. Now you can assign a material from here, you can give it you can take galvanized from here so this was a basic tutorial to how to make a sprocket in autodesk inventor 3d i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you